So today I will be working one exercise, but it's a three in one. And why? Because we will be working our spine rotation, we will be working our balance and the stretching of our psoas muscle. So let's go. We will start by having our feet together and make sure that you really spread your toes on the floor. Make sure that you're not curling them, but you're spreading as much as possible. Second important part, make sure that you always have your core engaged. So belly button in and up and stretch towards the sky. Now, we will put the weight in our left leg and we are going to lift up our right leg. At this point, make sure that you have a 90 degrees angle. So make sure that it's not too up, neither too low, a 90 degree angle. Also, and extremely important, make sure that the foot of this uh, leg that is up is not bent, but is active and parallel towards the floor. Okay, so not rotated out, parallel. Now, what we are going to do, also make sure that this leg is not going in, but aligned with your hip. At this moment, make sure that you have a stable standing leg and make sure that you feel your inner thighs active. This is also extremely important for tango because it's the muscles that we use a lot, for example, for our pivots, for our stabilization in general. Make sure that when you lift up your leg, you don't lift up your hip. The hips have to be parallel to the floor through the entire exercise. At this point, you are going to put your left hand on top of the right. And the palm of your right hand is going to be pointing up and we are going to rotate. And here we take a couple of breathings. Now make sure that your shoulders are down and you are opening up your chest and rotating. Core engaged, this foot is parallel toward the floor. And here we stay. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're done. We change the leg. So again, now we change to the right and we are going to lift up the, the left. Make sure again that your foot is active parallel towards the floor. And we are going to put the right over the left. And we are going to open the, the left and we stay. One, two, make sure the core is engaged. Make sure that your hips are pointing towards you and you are rotating your rib cage towards the side. And five, we bring forward and down. I will show you now a second variation of this exercise, which is more advanced. So don't do it if you are still unstable on the first. And this variation will improve even more the stretching of your psoas and also your spine rotation. And of course, it will challenge more your balance. So let's go. So again, we start the same way. Spread your toes on the floor, feet together, core engaged, belly button in and up. And we are going to lift up the right again, 90 degrees angle, this foot parallel to the floor. But now we are going to bring the, the right leg to the opposite side. And again, we open here and we stay. Five breathings, two, Three, don't forget that the palm of this hand is up. Four, and five, and relaxed. An important point is also your standing leg, that you are not overstretching your standing leg, all right? But you're not bending either. The knee isn't locked, all right? So if you see it on the side, it will be, it won't be here, it won't be overstretched, it will be unblocked. So now we're going to change to the other side. Again, engage your core, make sure that you're stretching up, and we bring the leg up, the foot is parallel towards the floor, and we rotate. And we stay five breathings. One, two, three, core engaged, open your shoulders, rib cage turning to the other side, So this you can do three times to each side, relax, and you can repeat again. 
That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know how your practice went, if you have any questions, and I'll keep sharing more exercises with you. Till then, I send you a big kiss and a big virtual hug, and see you soon. Bye!